Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable grocery tote. This is completely reusable, washable, and it's super cute. It's also a fairly easy project. Let's go ahead and get started. So for this project, you're gonna need an outside panel and I'm using this really cute Choose Kindness panel. This is from Sweetwater Fabrics and it's printed on their canvas material. You're also gonna need some fabric for your sides, some interfacing, some cotton webbing strapping and I'm just using this one and a quarter inch cotton webbing strap. You're gonna need two of those some coordinating thread, and then some basic sewing supplies. Exact cutting instructions for everything will be in the description box below this video, so just click the show more link down there and you can get all the exact sizes. Let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I'm gonna take my interfacing and just press it in half lengthwise like this so we can find the center point. I'm also gonna press my long piece of fabric in half so that I can see that center point. I can see mine because it's got actually two different kind of prints on it. Next, I'm going to line up the crease here with the exact middle, and you can pin this in place if you want. And then I'm gonna take this to my sewing machine and just run a stitch down the edge of our interfacing here just to attach it to the bottom of our bag. This step is totally optional, but it will give your bag a little bit of extra stability and strength in the bottom. Next, we're gonna add our straps. So I'm gonna take one of my straps here, and I'm just gonna place it right here. I'm going to place it three inches in from the edge and two inches down from the top. So right like that. I'm going to go ahead and pin that in place. And then repeat the same thing with our other strap. Now if you've chosen really thick strapping, this is a good time for Wonder Clips. We're gonna go ahead and flip this over and repeat that on the back side. Now that we have the handles pinned in place, we're gonna take it over to our sewing machine and sew them onto the bag. And just using a quarter of an inch seam, I'm gonna sew right along the bottom edge of all four of my strap ends. I'm also gonna sew using an eighth of an inch seam up these side panels. However, I'm going to stop when I'm about three quarters away away from the top edge of this bag. We still have to finish the top edge of our bag and so you don't wanna sew past that mark, otherwise you're gonna have a really hard time finishing off your top edge. So we've attached our handles to both ends of our bags now. We're gonna add a cute little design element. I think it makes the bag look a little bit extra cute and also hides these raw edges from these straps. So we're gonna take our ruler. I'm gonna line my ruler up so that the half inch mark is right on the edge of my strap and then I'm just gonna draw a line right down here. And by the way, it's two and a half inches from the top edge of your bag. Now using this line as a guide, we're gonna take our fabric and we're gonna fold it up right along the edge of this strap here and then fold it on our drawn line. So here's our drawn line on the fold and our strap is on that fold right there. And I'm gonna pin this in place. So here's what it's kind of looking like. And then the line that we drew is right on this top crease and the fold is up against the edge of our handle like that. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. And then we're gonna take this over to our ironing board. We're gonna press this, and then I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine, and I'm gonna sew a stitch all the way along this, making sure to catch the handle. And I'm probably gonna use my dark blue accent thread because I think it'll be cute to be able to see those stitches. We're gonna repeat this same process on the back of the bag. So here's kind of what your project should be looking like. We've got these cute little folded over side seams for our handles. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add our side panels. So I'm going to flip my bag to the wrong side up and I'm gonna take one of my side panels here and I'm gonna press it in half lengthwise like this to find the center. I also am going to be marking the center of my bag. Now I can see mine because I have two kind of separate prints going on here. If you can't see yours, just fold your bag in half lining up these edges, and then put a little pin there or something to mark your center seam. Next, with our wrong sides together, we're gonna line up the center seam of this panel with the center seam of our bag here. We're just going to pin that in place. 
So here's what it's looking like. We're gonna take this to our sewing machine and sew right along this edge using a quarter of an inch seam, but we're gonna stop when we're one quarter of an inch away from this edge right here. And I just marked that with my pin so that I know where to stop. So right here and right here. We're gonna repeat that process with this other panel here. So again, I've lined up my centers and pinned them in place. And then I've marked a quarter of an inch away from both edges and I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch along this edge as well. So here is one of our attached sides and I just kind of flipped the other one out of the way. Next we're going to turn our whole bag to the side and then we're going to take this and just turn it to the side and then line up these edges all the way to the top of the bag and pin all of that in place. Now it's a little bit cumbersome, but we're gonna do that on all of the sides of our side pieces. And I'm gonna repeat that same process for this side. And if you'd like, if it's easier, you can sew this side before you add this side. I'm just gonna pin all four sides in place and then go sew them all at once. So again, I'm just gonna line up this top edge. Now you should have something looking kind of like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to my sewing machine and again, sew a quarter of an inch down this edge and this edge, and I'm gonna repeat that with the other side of the bag. All right, so our bag should be looking something like this and you might be thinking, wow, there's raw edges all over the outside of our bag, but we're gonna take care of that in the next step. And this is called a French seam for anyone who is wondering why I was sewing going the wrong direction. Next, we're gonna take this and you can either use your ruler or you can just kind of eyeball it. We're gonna trim this edge down so it's one quarter inch away from the seam allowance. And since this is such dark fabric right here, I'm probably just gonna do it by eye. We're just gonna carefully trim off this edge. We sewed it a quarter of an inch, so we're gonna cut off about half of it, just making sure that we don't go into our stitch line. All right, so I've trimmed down all of my raw edges so they're just one eighth of an inch away from our seam allowance. Now we're gonna take our bag, we're gonna turn it inside out, pop out these bottom corners, all right, so our bag is right side out, and next we're going to take these seams now, and you can see our finished edge is now on the inside of our bag. We're gonna take it over to our ironing board, and I'm gonna press these seams down nice and good, and then I'm gonna pin them in place all the way around the edge of our side panels. And then we're gonna take them to our sewing machine, and using a half inch seam allowance, we're gonna sew all the way down this edge, around the corner, Again, down this edge, around the corner, and back up the other side. And what that's gonna do is when we turn our bag right side out, we'll have a finished seam on the outside, but we'll also have a finished seam on the inside. That way this bag will be 100% washable. Now when I get down to this bottom corner, I'm gonna leave my needle in the down position and lift my presser foot. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten out the bag and keep sewing. All right, so here's our bag. Our inside lining should be looking something like this. We've got this nice finished edge right along here. And now we just have to finish off the top edge of this bag and we'll be done. Now to finish off this top edge, I'm just gonna press in the top edge by one quarter of an inch all the way around the bag. And then press it in another quarter of an inch. And I'm just gonna pin that in place. And then I'm gonna take this over to my sewing machine and just sew right along this edge to secure that. I'm probably gonna use my fun blue accent thread so that you can kind of see the stitches and then we'll be done with our back. We have finished sewing all the way around our top edge here and now we can just turn our bag right side out and we are ready to go.
All right, guys, that is it for today's project. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. That way I know to keep making fun tutorials. One thing I wanted to mention is that I do like to use canvas for this project. If you can find waxed canvas, that's always a great option as well. Anything that's a little bit thicker and more durable is perfect for this project. And then also, if you've never sewn a bag like this where you're sewing around these corner seams, I highly suggest giving it a shot. Don't stress out if your corners aren't perfect. Literally, no one will notice them except for you. And you'll still have the cutest shopping bag on the block. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Until next time, happy sewing.